It's time for another episode of Monkey Shorts. Uh, I'm Ken Pulse, the Data Monkey's here with me as well. And in this week's episode, we are going to have another look at Power Query documentation with this tip specifically focused on giving you a quick way to access documentation for a known function that you know you wanna use, but where you just want a little refresher on how it actually works. So let's go and take a look at Power Query here. You'll see that I've got a, a query one here where I'm referring to my list in the source step. And I'm just gonna go and add a new step here and I'm gonna replace where we have source here. What I'm gonna do is I'm gonna use the list.sum function in order to sum it up. Let's say that I know that I wanna use the sum function, but I can't remember exactly all the syntax around it. So what I'm gonna do is I'm just gonna type in sum to get to list.sum. I'll hit tab to complete it with the autocomplete. And then I'm gonna hit enter. Notice that I did not open the parenthesis or close the parenthesis here. I just hit list.sum, enter and it comes back and it gives me the documentation for the list.sum function. So I can now go and look at this and say, okay, so there's some different parameters here. It looks like the precision is optional. There's an example down the bottom for list.sum. Looks like it takes a list, which I happen to have in the previous step of source, and gives me an output. So this gives me the hints I need to be able to go back and now go in and fill in the rest of what I'm actually looking for. So the beauty of this particular setup here, and I wanna throw a hat tip to my friend Christian Angel for pointing this one out to me, uh, is that this allows you to actually work with it right in line. As Soon as you actually figure out oh, how's that function go again, you can just type it in, no parenthesis, hit enter, gives you the documentation, work your way through it, and then you can go back, delete the step if you like, recreate it so that hopefully it works for you. So hopefully that tip will help you out and uh, make you a little bit more efficient in your Power Query documentation hunt. Thank you for watching this episode of Monkey Shorts. If you enjoyed it, please don't forget to click on the Skillwave logo on the bottom left in order to subscribe to our channel. Or if you'd like to see more videos in the series, click on the playlist tile on the right. And if you'd like to get more comprehensive training, you should definitely check out our website at skillwave.training.